time to give Stone Talon Mountains a review, this time from Hordeside Perspective. I'll be covering these four topics, you can find all of them except for the fourth one in picture format in the video description below if it's more convenient for you. So why would you level here in the first place? Let's find out. The quest linearity is stellar. There's no way you can get lost here thinking which quest to complete first. It's a quick zone too, doesn't take too much time to do. The speed at which you can level up here is decent. And overall, I got the feeling that it's an ideal zone for beginners, due to how simple and linear the design is. Unfortunately, because the zone is quick, that means there ain't that many quests to reap, so don't expect to level up a lot here. There ain't that many rare mobs you can stumble upon, and despite the zone's excellent design, places like Silver Pine Forest are still more superior. Trust me, the numbers don't lie. Time for the statistics, where you will see how the length of the zone influences its value. Before I start throwing up numbers, however, these are the criteria on which the statistics are based. All heirlooms equipped, war mode on, completing the whole zone, 100% mount speed, and the hasty hearth guild perk, which reduces your hearthstone's cooldown by 50%. I haven't used any enchants, no consumables, nor did I get help from other players. I've also skipped killing rare mobs for the sake of science. I have settled on 1 hour and 6 minutes to be the average time to complete the zone without going AFK, dying, or taking breaks. Plus, the criteria included. Depending on from which level you start, this is how many times, on paper, you can ding in Stone Talon Mountains. Now we can deduce how many times you can ding per hour elapsed. Again, on paper. As a reminder, your best chance is finding 7 rare mobs in the zone maximum, if you're sticking close to where the quests tell you to go. Because the quests here are fully linear, there's really no point in providing a route. The only thing I can provide, however, is a small chart with suggestions on how to use your hearthstone for the maximum benefit. Here you go. So, that's my analysis. My rating of the zone, based on what it offers and how it feels like, I have to slap a mid slash top tier on top of it. Honestly, I feel bad about mentioning mid-tier at all, but this is because there exist zones which are superior to stone talents still. Other than that, I like the zone, and I don't think it's possible to get a headache here at all. Thanks for watching, and thanks to the dedicated few who watched me stream the actual zone review in action. Subscribe to me if you want to see more, unsubscribe if you think I am pathetic. You can follow and hang around on my Twitch channel to see me stream these zone reviews live, and other stuff too. It's always more fun doing this stuff while having folks around to chat with. Have fun leveling, or at least try to have fun leveling. Until another time. You are